Hi, welcome to JJ's physics class. Electricity has an important role in our society. What constitutes electricity? How does it flow in an electric circuit? What are the factors that control or regulate the current through an electric circuit? In this coming session, we shall try to answer such questions. Let us start. Electricity cannot be seen, only its effects can be measured. Models can be used to make it easier to understand how current moves in an electric circuit. These are the topics will be covered during this session. Identify different components of an electric circuit. Draw and use symbols used in an electric circuit. Symbol electric circuits. Why use circuit diagrams? Electronic circuits or electric circuits are usually very complex. It is important to have a clear way of showing how different components are connecting together. A standard set of symbols is used to represent different devices and to draw schematic diagrams of circuits which show how components are connected. What components do the symbols below stand for? This one for a cell. Two cells are connected together called battery. This is a switch, lamp or bulb, ammeter, voltmeter, resistor, Variable resistor. Let us learn one by one. In a torch, we know that the cells or battery, when placed in proper order, provide flow of electric charge. This is a circuit symbol for single cell. Big line represents the positive side of the battery or cell. Small line indicating the negative side. This is a cell holder. When three cells are connected together, we can draw the circuit symbol as follows. Next is electric bulb. So the circuit symbol can be represented in both ways. Next is connecting wires. The circuit symbol for connecting wires, there are two ways you can represent this. Older convention like this and newer convention like this. Next is switch. What does a switch do? A switch makes a conducting link between the cell and the bulb. So these are the switches used on electric circuit. The circuit symbol for switch is given by for open circuits and for closed circuits. Another way of representing for open circuit and for closed circuit like this. Next is ammeter and voltmeter represented by A for ammeter and B for voltmeter. Next is resistor and the circuit symbol for resistor, circuit symbol for variable resistor. Next is electric circuits. The electric charge that flows through your household is called your electric circuit. Every electric circuit, regardless of where it is or how large or small it is, has four basic parts. An energy source, a conductor, an electrical load, and at last one controller, that is switch. As you can see here, this circuit consists of connecting wires, light bulb, circuit board, and a cell. These components must be joined together without any gap in between to form a closed circuit. A continuous closed path of an electric current is called an electric circuit. So look at these two circuit diagrams. Something is missing in these two, right? What is that? Let us find out. Here, the connecting wire is missing. What about here? A source of electrical energy or a battery is missing. Such circuits are called open circuits. A sample 
diagram is given here. So this is an electric cell connected to the pin. Pin acts as a switch, is connected to the light bulb. Light bulb is connected back to the negative terminal of the battery. So let us draw this. So cell is connected to the pin and it is connected to the light bulb. Light bulb is connected to the negative side of the battery. So this is a closed circuit. For an open circuit, the switch is not connected. An electric current flows only when there is a source of electrical energy and a closed circuit. These are the examples of some circuit diagrams. Next class, we will learn more about electric current. Thank you.